Hi again. I wanted to share the other corner of my beautiful pink office and my sign. It says, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. I think it's helpful for the topic that I wanted to discuss today. I wanted to clarify what I spoke about last time, which was pain. When I was speaking with patients, they said they continue to use because of regrets on how they treated others, what they've done, they didn't want to think about it. The others were angry, bitter, upset for how others had inflicted pain on them. Generally, that was childhood. When somebody hurts another person, imagine that somebody comes and steps on your toe. Ow, that hurts. The person says, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. And it doesn't happen again. That's that perfect world. So now this person steps on you again. And you're going, whoa, what happened? <laughs> I just said, ow, you go ow again. They go, oh, I'm sorry. You go, do you understand that that hurts? and your toe, your feet need to stay over there. Do you understand that? It takes bravery and courage and control to be able to communicate to that person, you're hurting me. Do you understand that? Trying to reach their empathy mark for them to understand why you're asking them not to do it anymore. That is huge. That's creating some boundaries. Now, if the person steps on you again, you're going to go, there's something wrong with that person. Why would somebody step on your toe three times? Doesn't make any sense. You're right. It doesn't. There's something wrong with that person. It takes strength to resist the urge not to respond in the same way, to do the same thing that they've just done to you. I got to watch out for this guy. It's very possible this guy's going to stomp on me again. Now you're pretty smart. First, I'm going to avoid the person altogether if I can. If I can't, then I'm just going to decrease my time with them to limit their opportunity to do it to me again. And I'm going to stand over there. Marked. You walk away and you go and start to mingle with other people that are happy. So when you walk over there, you can do one of two things. One, you walk away and you go, can you believe that person? There's something the matter with them. And they stepped on my toe. They're constantly doing this. Okay. Do you see the face changes? My energy is now low. It's a little angry. Now I'm sounding a little bit bitter and I have now accepted they chose to inflict their whatever's wrong with them to me and by my changing of my eyes by continuing to talk about it and by being negative i have allowed them to hand me their negative baton and i took it with me and now i'm holding the baton i am now acting like that person why would we want to do that the other way you head on over to all those people that are smiling and happy and you go and even though your toe is throbbing and you're a little upset about it because it hurts you smile and you put on that vibe how are you all doing you act the same way that you've been you they threw the negative baton and you pushed it down and said no thank you i don't want it and you went, you enjoyed others, you have a great time, you let it go. It's not forgetting. You're never going to forget when somebody inflicts pain. We're not supposed to just forget. We've all burned ourselves. When you burn yourself on that fire, you went, ow, oh my God. But I bet you, you guys, don't burn yourself as often. When you see the fire, you go, I really want to keep my hands away from that. If we didn't remember that, we'd be burning our hand on the fire all the time. We need to remember because that makes us smarter. We can avoid those situations or decrease the opportunity 
for more pain to be inflicted upon us. It's the letting go part or carrying the baton. Now, if you are a person that stands there next to that person that continues to stomp on your toe and they do it again and you go, ow, and they say, sorry. And then they do it for the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 20th time. Ow, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. You continue to allow that person to stomp on your toe. You continue to allow that person to hurt you. You have to ask yourself, what am I doing? Why in the world would I accept myself to be hurt over and over and over again? You got to dive in deep and generally it has to go back to childhood, but you need to figure that out. You have to ask yourself why you would accept someone to hurt you that way. In our families, we play a role. We end up becoming, we're a family unit, but everybody plays their own role. You accepted pain somewhere because now it is so familiar that you allow it over and over and over again. You got to do that deep dive and you need to self love. Now, if you're the one, if you're the person that's inflicting the pain, if you're the person that's hurting others over and over again, you've got to do the same thing and deep dive. Why would you want to do something like that? Why would you want to hurt somebody? that even in your heart, maybe you say you love that person. Why would you hurt them? If you're the one that's actually spreading that baton, then somebody did that to you. And generally it would be in your childhood. You need to dig deep and you need to get down to the root of it. If somebody hurt you when you're a child, you didn't have any control over that. And whoever hurts a child, there's something wrong with that person. Because why would you hurt an innocent child because they were carrying the baton and didn't do their work. When you realize that you're the one that's holding that baton and you're throwing it out, the very first step is acknowledging it. You have mastered already the first step. The second step is doing the inner work and retraining and understanding why that person may have hurt you. Generally, they have a story. We don't have control over other people. We only have control over ourselves. So what are you going to do about it? Because it takes bravery to acknowledge. It takes courage to take that step and to get into that shadow work. Either way, one that accepts it, one that accepts the pain, and one that's giving it. It takes bravery to do that work. It takes strength. It hurts. It hurts to remember some of those things. But once you get through it and you look at it and go, wow, how smart I feel. You feel better about yourself. When you listen to those meditations and self-love, you feel great. I would love for you to live a happy, wonderful life. You will do that, but you do need to get through that shadow work. You have two avenues. You can stay stuck doing the same thing, expecting different results. We've all heard that one. Or you do the work, do your shadow work. And guess what? You will be happy. So don't hold on to that baton. Fix that issue. Don't waste time. Don't waste any more time. We have all been hurt. I understand. I also understand about trying to cut everyone out and then missing out on opportunities of the good times with the people that love you, with the people that do enjoy being around you. I've shared this with my patients that I was so hurt that I decided to kind of completely eliminate any issues that could arise again by just not attending or just completely avoiding. Then one of my dear uncles, it was his birthday and I hadn't seen him in over a year. He wasn't doing well. 
I went to visit him on his birthday. We had a great time and he said, Miha, I missed you. I'm so sorry what's been going on. I miss you. I said, I missed you too. And I'm so sorry that I hadn't seen you. And I'll see you next month. He passed away. I lost that whole year of time. Instead of creating more of the boundaries and letting it go, I tried to do the avoid and I missed that time. I don't want you to miss out. Don't miss out on people that love you. It isn't worth it. Don't take on a negative baton that isn't yours. Let it go. Only you can do it. Everything will be in the description box. There's I Forgive Others and I Forgive Myself Meditation by Marissa Peer. It's wonderful. There are teachers, Candace Evandel, Lisa Romano, those will be below. A psychological development school, amazing because you actually kind of learn about yourself. Like, why, why am I like that? It starts to make sense. You become smarter. Do the work, be happy. Don't do the work. Continue doing exactly what you're doing, hoping for different results. I know that you're gonna choose to be happy. Thank you again for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to be sending lots of positive thoughts your way. Bye.